video tutorial, we're going to be discussing about the surface area of rectangular prisms. I'm going to talk about the formula and as well using an example using that formula. So the surface area of a rectangular prism is the sum of all the areas of all the sides of the rectangular prism. So here's a picture of a rectangular prism and the bases that are outlined in red, there's always going to be two bases, one at the bottom, one at the top, and whatever shape that is, in our case it's a rectangle, that is how you name this prism. So that's why this is a rectangular prism. So think of maybe a empty gift box that you may have and you want to wrap it up. So the amount of wrapping paper that you're going to use to cover up all the sides of your empty gift box, that is what is considered the surface area. So let's next talk about the formula. So this is the same diagram of the rectangular prism. And our formula is SA, surface area, is equal to 2 times capital B plus capital P times H. So let's look at what every single variable represents. SA stands for surface area. Capital B is the area of the rectangular base, which is length times width. L is the length of the rectangular base. W is the width of the rectangular base. Capital P is the perimeter of the rectangular base. Let's quickly review that the perimeter is the sum of all four red outlined sides. One length plus another length plus one width plus another width. That is the perimeter. And H is the height of the rectangular prism. So how tall the rectangular prism is H. Now let's look at an example. Again, we have another picture of a rectangular prism. And our formula that we'll be using is 2 times capital B plus capital P times H. So again, the bases, the rectangular bases, are outlined in red. Let's take a look at the length and the width. Are you able to identify the length and the width of your rectangle? Let's see if your length is correct should be 10, and your width should be 3. So now capital B stands for the area of the rectangular base. So do you remember how to find the area of a rectangle? Let's see if you're correct. 3 times 10 would be 30. Now look at how tall our prism is. That would be variable H. That would be 6. And capital P stands for the perimeter of your rectangular base. So here is your red outlined rectangular base. How do you find the perimeter? Let's check if you have the right perimeter value. Should be 26. So now we're going to apply this formula and substitute the values. 2 times capital B, which is 30 plus the perimeter, which is 26, times h, which is 6. Let's do our calculations. Find your sum. And this rectangular prism has a surface area of 216 meters squared. Hope that was helpful.